Good evening, I'm your host Adam and this is Anything Strange, a web series all about the paranormal. Today we dive into the case of Metz Elementary, a haunted school in Austin, Texas, where the spirits may have killed the members of the demolition crew trying to tear it down. There's nothing scarier than the images and voices of children in ragged clothes, singing and dancing, then vanishing before your very eyes. <laughs> Metz Elementary School was built in 1915, just outside of Austin, Texas. It was a smaller functional school for over 70 years, but as the population grew, the town decided it was time to tear it down and build a new school. Unfortunately for Torres trucking and excavation, the school and spirits inside had other plans. From week one on site, the demolition crew started reporting paranormal activity. One of the first reports was a worker who said he saw a little boy staring at him from the bathroom window. When he ran inside, the bathroom and hallways were both empty. Multiple workers claimed to hear children giggling within the empty classrooms. There was new writing appearing on the chalkboards every day and noises around every hallway. There were even a couple sightings of children vanishing before the construction worker's eyes. Things only got worse after the crew set up shop and began construction. One man tried to take a bulldozer to the building, but the machine kept shutting off on its own whenever he got close. Another man was climbing a ladder that began to shake violently. Whether it was the spirits of the children trying to play a game or something more sinister, they didn't know. When crew members would step inside the school, their watches would stop, then start up again the second they would walk outside. At this point, everyone knew there was something odd happening. Owner of the demolition team, Joe Torres, was quoted saying, It's kind of hard for me to swallow. I'm not a superstitious person, but you walk through and think, if these walls could talk. Members of the crew were so frightened, they refused to work from inside the building. Then one by one, they started to quit. One man started to argue with Joe, but after his job was threatened, he started shouting and attempted to go back to work. While walking towards the building, an entire wall came crashing down on him out of nowhere crushing him to death. With one last effort, Joe Torres brought in Elias Lyman of a Catholic church nearby to put an end to the evil spirits. Elias walked around with holy water and a Bible. He insisted the spirits leave the building and they couldn't stop it from being destroyed. Luckily for the crew, the spirits listened. The school was torn down and rebuilt. Joe Torres rescued one tree from the site and planted it in his daughter's yard. Since then, Many neighbors have claimed to hear the sounds of children giggling and singing. So were these ghosts real, or was it something more sinister trying to scare the crew away? Research was done, and nobody could find anything on children dying in the school. But the entire property did have a violent past, going back to war with the Indians who were fighting people trying to settle on the land. The new school still stands today, and many people say they feel a presence when they walk the halls alone but for the most parts, the spirits have seemed to move on. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And if you wanna see more strange stories, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I'd love to hear any other strange stories you want me to tell next, so leave those recommendations in the comments below. And until next time, I'm your host, Adam, bringing you stories about anything strange.